When President Obama traveled to Dover, Delaware last month to view the return of America's war dead, the media cameras were out in force. So what happens all those other nights when the president is not there? That's tonight's Sunday cover, a rare look at the reality of war that the government, until recently, did not want us to see. Present. Ha! The military does not call it a ceremony, but a solemn event. The dignified transfer at Dover Air Force Base when the nation's war dead are returned to U.S. soil. Until eight months ago, images like these were officially off limits to the public. Defense Secretary Robert Gates allowed media access last April, but left it up to the families of the dead to choose whether to permit press coverage. Dover is an experience all its own. Even though it's not a service, it's just like this silent, it's like a peace. First Sergeant John David Blair from Lawrenceville, Georgia, was killed in Afghanistan last June. His wife Donna allowed immediate coverage of his dignified transfer. The media's not coming up here to bother me. They're, they're wanting to see, and they deserve the right to see these American heroes come home. The families have to decide about media coverage right after they have received the most devastating news. The doorbell rang and he, my son come and got me and he said, there's two men at the door wanting to talk to you. And of course, when I seen him, I knew, you know, you just don't want to know, but you know. Since the ban was lifted, some 80% of families have permitted some sort of coverage. They appreciate that we have the ability not only for them to honor their loved ones, for the public media to go out and have a story, to put a face with a name. After extensive coverage when the ban was lifted, media attention has waned. For more than a third of the transfers, the Associated Press has been the only agency to send photographers to Dover. When President Obama attended a dignified transfer last month, 24 members of the media recorded the images, which were seen around the world. But the next night, at the dignified transfer of Lance Corporal Cody Stanley, there were only four people there to film it, besides CBS News, two from the military and two photo agencies. Donna Blair believes the press should be there to record the transfers each and every time. And I feel like they should cover all these guys. This nation needs to know what these guys put effort to do and the sacrifices they pay for your rights, you know? As of today, the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq have claimed the lives of 5,282 American servicemen and women.